Hello, artists and designers. So I'm working today on the portrait project and I'm gonna start off by going into options for the image, which is titled that. And I'm gonna dim images to 30%. One other thing that you may wanna consider is changing the, um, the, the color for the layer because that will actually be the point structure for the, the layer. So you may wanna consider adjusting that. So I'm going to close that out and say, okay. Um, that will affect things later on when we work with points, uh, but not necessarily so much for this particular one. Um, so now I've got myself lightened down and the next thing for me to do is to start to make these kinds of layers, neck, head, hair, and glasses. So I've pre-made these layers and I'm going to just show you um, what they look like. Um, similar to what we had learned uh, about the other project where, um, like the muffin demo, where we're putting layers in different things. Um, and I actually haven't made the glasses yet. So I'm going to um, work on the glasses layer. This glasses layer has a gray uh, outline. You can see that when I go to this outline, it is pink and that is the head that helps me to see what things are. So if you feel like you need to change the the uh, outline of things, you go to options and adjust the color. Gray is typically not a good color for viewing this, so I'm gonna adjust it to blue right now. Okay, so I like that. I'm going to now make my glasses. So the pencil tool is what we're going to work with today. All right, so in order to get the fidelity of the smooth of the curves, which will make things uh, so that it's much more simple, we're going to double click the pencil tool. That gives us pencil tool options. And it usually starts out in the middle and I recommend actually going all the way to smooth. You can edit more things here, but uh, we're going to try the super smooth tool right now. So I also made some adjustments here, uh, closed paths uh, when ends are within 20 pixels to make it a little bit bigger um, in terms of closing the paths. Otherwise it would be Command J for, for joining paths. I'm gonna say okay here. Now I'm gonna draw my glasses. I'm gonna hit zoom, Z for the zoom tool, and then back to the pencil tool. And now I'm using my Cintiq to draw the pencils. You can see that when I'm close to it, it's getting this line tool, and that means it's going to be joining. So I got a little bit wobbly there because my hand is either a little shaky or something. This is where I'm gonna hit the A tool. I'm gonna to delete this Command Z. I'm actually going to, um, it's a little bit trickier here. Um, you can actually hit the Smooth tool, which is underneath the Pencil tool and get rid of that line. You can see that as I draw, like kind of scrub over it, gets rid of can add or subtract points when you do that. Just be careful that when you do that, it doesn't um, get rid of it too many, too many ways. Um, so deleting would be fantastic, but you can't really do that. So because it actually gets rid of these, if you hit A and scrub over them and then hit Command J, that will do joining, and that's an important element because you can really get in at getting the anchor points to where you want. So now I'm gonna kind of go through and make this um, better. You can see that this one is a straight. So I'm actually in my um, workspace. I'm set up with Essentials Classic, and that helps me to be able to see all these convert uh, handles tools, and that's super helpful. So this one, I need to be converted to have all of the handles. So I'm gonna hit the white arrow tool and be able to see all my handles and move this stuff around. Um, so just kind of moving things around, getting a fun, I'm going to, because I'm changing this from realism to something that's bigger and more shape-like, I'm going to kind of 
really play with it. This is another point that I feel like I don't need. So I'm going to go to the pen tool. You can hold it down and then you can delete the anchor point tool. And that gives you um, access to uh, less points. This is another one that I don't need. I'm going to click on that, get the arrow tool. A is that direct select tool. Okay, so with the goal of having less points because you can really man manipulate these things and move around, um, you'll find that you can really get your shapes to be more direct. I want this shape to go kind of really way up. So I want to play with um, being a cat eye, but I want to have it to be kind of similar to each other. So I'm going to pop like that. Okay, so this drawing so far, if I hit V, uh, which is the main select tool, I'm going to now go to the uh, properties and to the four point tool and I'm going to just really push the the line weight on this so that I start to have some glasses. The glasses become a part of the essence of who I am in this. And you just have to decide where in your piece will you have um, sort of the essence of what your portrait is. For this particular one I want this point to come back in on itself. Uh, and I'm sometimes only seeing this once I get a little bit thicker with my line, so I have to decide what to do there. Now, Illustrator has options to do different kinds of lines. If I um, go to the stroke, let's see, window, brushes, and then go to open brush library we can uh, work through some decorative elements or through bristle brushes. Uh, artistic, I feel like, is a really good choice. So I'm going to choose artistic and then paintbrush. This gives me access to a lot more uh, paintbrush options. And I can choose that. And you can see that through that choice, it's being a little bit more painterly. One thing to consider is that these kinds of brushes, anything that is not your standard basic brushes, will not come into, uh, into Animate. And that's a really important element if you're thinking about transferring files back and forth. So I'm going to go back to any of these brushes because this is meant to be just a straight up illustration. Uh, that would be for print. So um, this is the direction that we're going to go with uh, having things be uh, with the pencil tool. This, this would be the directions for the pencil tool. Right now I don't have any fill in it. Um, so if I did want fill, I, would, I can double click and I can select a color from that. And then I can select the fill tool or I can select it, double click get a fill. Now for this, I could choose the opacity to be lower so I could start to see through things and start to work and then, then find ways to bring it back to the opacity of 100% later. I enjoy as I'm working to have lower opacities on everything as I work. So this is a demo on using the pencil tool directly over your portrait. So have fun with that and remember that we're really trying to stylize. So we're really trying to find a way to get the stylization up on these so we're not going for super realism. All right, I'm looking forward to seeing your portraits. See you later.